Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Cross and I'm here for a feminine moment with Dixie Andalyn Forsyth. And we are talking today about masculinity and maybe understanding men. And, and we've had some comments on our closed group and we're noticing some things that maybe, not, not that we don't like, but we, we don't want our group to be about venting more than or over inspiring men. Here's the thing, women are, Men have an advantage over us that we don't. Women need to verbally process. Mm -hmm. I, I do. When, when something bothers me, sometimes I'll go to Bob and I'll say, can I vent for a minute about something that happened? Um, so so we, we, we need to verbally process. So, so when people say, I need to vent, they do. But there's, there's things you can do to help that. There's things that are actually not. We're, right. And we're not saying don't vent, but private messages. No, no, private that. messaging on, on, the, on yeah. our websites, you don't want anyone to know anything negative about your husband. No. You found out. I mean, you would, you would not want to hurt him. Right. And you might think, oh, he'll never find out. But who wants to take the chance? I, I wouldn't. So if something really is bothering you about your husband, either, pri either private messages or there's several things you can do. One is um, it's sort of a sign that you haven't really successfully, and, and FW is a process, successfully accepted him at face value, meaning, meaning that some people misunderstand that, so we're going to keep saying what it means that you accept what is rather than you condone if if somebody um always throws their clothes on the floor it doesn't mean you say oh well that's fine it means you accept that they always throw their clothes on the floor and you accept that you aren't going to try to change it don't let it bother you really i mean you can accept it you can uh yeah. you can say okay uh Bill or whatever his name is throws his clothes on the floor. What am I going to do about it? But trying to change him is probably not a good idea. No one likes to be someone else's project. Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> you probably don't either. If you do something, you find out your husband has got this goal to change you. It isn't very flattering. So the thing to do is to accept them as they are. And when you do, you're not going to feel as much like venting, although there, there are times you're going to need to vent. If it's really bad, be careful who you trust. Yes. Because because if it's a close friend, somebody was talking to me about the that recently. If it's a close friend, you gotta be you gotta think, well, could that if this got back to him, because if you trust anyone, yep. then it, you wouldn't want them to think my husband is a jerk. You want them to think the whole overall better like you do. He's great. So you should really talk him up to your friends, to your family. Mm -hmm. Because look for the positives. You married this person. Look for the positives, and that's what you say to other people. If, he, if there's something going on that you really need to vent about, either private message us or write it down. Write it, because you, if you type, that's even better. Write it down, then you can tear it up. It does feel good to vent. Sometimes uh, Bob in his practice will have people have these horrible experiences and childhoods and things they'll mm -hmm. write a big long thing and then they'll tear it up or save it for a while and tear it up and it, it does feel good yeah to do that oh and, and then the other part of that was um a woman having a pandora's box reaction and so it was oh, yes yeah the pandora's box i think is sometimes a little misunderstood pandora's yeah. box what what that's talking about a fasting womanhood is when a man feel safe enough finally with you that you won't reject him mm -hmm. to let out some of his pent up feelings. It's not really a venting thing where, cause otherwise it wouldn't end You'd, to call any venting Pandora's box. is not really accurate. It, it's when they feel safe enough to let all this stuff out that has hurt them. It's all about hurt and pain and not just it, it bugs me that you were late. To come to come home for dinner or things like that, or even that you left your socks around her. It that's not a Pandora's box. And we'll do more videos on that. We have yeah. some, so look at our YouTube yeah. channel because we do have them. The Pandora's box in the reverse for a woman is not when she decides something. When she, if he's trying to get her to trust him, 
you might have a Pandora's box, but you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's not about venting. It's not about really venting. It's about, so, yeah. getting, it's kind of like about cleaning house. So you can actually have this deep relationship. It's getting rid of all that cobwebs and stuff that's in there that men often hide and, and sock away even for years at a time because they don't trust you enough with those feelings that you might reject them. Mm -hmm. It's different. Wow. Thank you for explaining that. Great, great points. Um, everyone watching again, we so appreciate you. Please like comment and share. Take care and keep the questions coming. Bye-bye everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year.